Hi, this is Dallas Mount and Mike Smith with University of Wyoming Extension, and we want to visit with you about critical dates for decision making regarding drought on ranches in the High Plains region. We think there's three critical dates that most ranches should evaluate their forage production situation on and make management decisions that are tied to each of these dates. The first of those would be the first part of April. At the first of April, we have a pretty good idea what the mountain snowpack and runoff situation is going to be, and we can look at our soil moisture and 10-day uh, weather predictions uh, at that point. So the, the story is starting to unfold as to what type of uh, forage production year we're going to have. The level of importance of that April 1st date will vary from ranch to ranch. Some ranches depend more on mountain snowpack and runoff water for forage production than other ranches do. The next date to really evaluate is the first part of May. At that point, we know what the moisture situation looked like during the month of April, and we can start to make some management decisions regarding how the year looks like it's going to play out. The last date to really evaluate is the 1st of June. At the 1st of June, we know with pretty good certainty what the forage production year is going to be, especially if cool season grasses make up the majority of our forage. At this time, we can start making those critical management decisions that are really going to depend on our, our stocking level uh, of the ranch and, and, and how the year is going to play out. So again, we think there should, you should tie management decisions to each of these critical dates and uh, allow those dates to dictate your, your management plan and, and what the forage production situation is going to be. So, Mike, what types of decisions could ranchers make on each of these three dates regarding stocking level of their ranch? Well, given the price of forages these days that are not produced on the ranch, it's pretty likely that you'd want to seriously consider uh, some level of destocking depending on what amount of precipitation that you actually got. Um, in a more flexible kind of operation, you might have some stockers to get rid of. Uh, certainly culling much deeper uh, than ordinarily think about doing would be a uh, reasonable prospect, but seriously, there's little economic value to trying to hold on and feed cattle through uh, the summer of a drought. Um, so finding alternative forages may be an option uh, if you know some place that you can, you can find some of those. But forages are a little bit tough to get a hold of this year, so I understand. Um, Lease least forages, that is. So, these stocking is probably the major thing that you're going to be thinking about. So that destocking plan will look different for every ranch depending on what type of livestock you have to work with and whether you have just cows or cow-calf yearling or some other type of flexible livestock that will give you the ability to adjust as the forage production season begins to unfold tied to these specific dates. Mike, I think another important component is to have this drought plan written down. And it's best to have a written plan that is tied to the critical dates that are of most importance on your ranch. And another part that plays into that is getting the right people around you and gathered at the table to help develop that plan. These plans tend to have a lot more buy-in from all those involved in the ranch if they're involved in creating them. So again, I think the important things are write the plan down, tie it to these critical dates, and involve all the people in the ranch in making that plan. Mike, any other final thoughts on this topic? Well, it, it's really a very critical thing that a ranch has a drought management plan and it's a lot less traumatic if you planned it last year so that when this year comes you can just move right in and do it. Uh, but it's never too late to make that plan and get things firmed up about how you want to manage it so that it, it's a matter of getting it done rather than agonizing through how to get it done. <laughs>